let's take the same burst but we will change the data but we will change the data size for example we are taking the same incr 4 and the size of the data is h size is equal to 0, 0, 001 which is equal to 16 bits that is 2 bytes so in this case the starting address let's say a naught and it will increment by plus 2 bytes so it will be equal to a1 and next it will be plus 2 bytes which is equal to a2 and next plus 2 bytes which is equal to a3 so total 4 bits total 4 bits that is 4 times the data is transferred the so the total data transferred total data transferred which is equal to h size that is 2 bytes into the size of the data that is 2 bytes so the size of the data is 2 bytes and the burst size is 4 bytes so which is equal to total 8 bytes of data is transferred during this burst operation so this is how we calculate the total amount of data which is transferred during this burst of it, burst operation similarly with the case of wrap 4 also the initial address will be a naught next plus 2 bytes a1 next plus 2 bytes a2 if a2 is the wrapping boundary then it will then it will come back to a naught it will not go to a3 next let us consider this 4 bit wrapping burst let us see the example of this 4 bit wrapping burst so i will only focus on this uh, address we have already seen about this uh, data transfer and uh, w data in previous lectures so i will only focus on this address incrementing and wrapping in this lectures so in case of 4 bit wrapping burst case of 4 bit wrapping burst in clock cycle t0 to t1 initially it is a non sequential transfer it is a non sequential transfer that is in case of non sequential transfer the present address the present address is a random address that is it has no relation it has no relation with previous address so in case of t0 in case of sorry t1 to t2 clock cycle in case of t1 to t2 clock cycle it is a non sequential transfer and the it is a random address generated address is a random address here in this case it is a 0x38 the address is random and the burst is wrap 4 burst is wrap 4 which means 4 bit wrap burst 4 bit and the size is a word and h size is equal to word which means 4 bytes okay so now in next clock cycle t2 to t3 it is a transfer type is sequential so in case of clock cycle t2 to t3 transfer type is sequential that is the address is related to the previous address and the burst is same wrap 4 only and the burst is wrap 4 and here we can see the size of the data is same 
h size is equal to a word that is 4 bytes that is 32 bits now here we can see the address is incrementing from 0x382 0x3c that is the address is incrementing by 4 bytes plus 4 bytes since the size of the data is 4 bytes next in clock cycle t3 to t4 the address will increment from 0x3c to 0x3c2. The address will come from 0x3c to 0x30. The address is getting wrapped. The address is getting to initial address 0x30 because it is a 4 bit wrap bust. It has reached its limit maximum address limit that is 0x3c so it is coming back to 0x30 and in clock cycle t4 to t5 it is incrementing from 0x30 to 0x34 incrementing by 4 bytes so the total amount of data which is been transferred is 4 into 4 that is 16 bytes of data has been transferred so that's all about uh, wrapping burst in AHB and in next video we will discuss about uh, incrementing burst in AHB protocol. Thank you for watching this video.